I typically don't make Xur videos, but I thought, what the hell? There's a lot of new players that are joining Destiny for Beyond Light, and some people may just not know who Xur is or what his purpose in the game is. Well, he comes every Friday through Sunday, and he sells exotics, and he also will give you the chance to get an exotic you don't have by choosing the Faded Engram, but that's a gamble. To find Xur this week or this Friday, you can go to Giant Scar on IO, you'll see the huge drill. Now if you turn around, you'll see a cave. If you run inside that cave to the very back, you'll see Xur back there in his black trench coat. Click on Xur and you'll see the weapon for sale this week is Hard Light. This was my very first exotic in Destiny 1. It's a decent exotic. They did a lot of work to this weapon to change it up a bit. They reduced the screen shake on it, but the main purpose of this weapon is to allow you to swap burns. So if you're doing some kind of locked loadout where you can't change your weapons, and there's a void shield, a solar shield, arc shield. You just hold the reload button down and easily start taking off shields. It also works great in PvP, which was one of the bitch of a weapons to have in trial. Whenever trials came back, that's what everybody was using. And you can also ricochet its bullets off the ground to do double the damage to any target, which is easier said than done, but it is a possibility. Let's move on to the next exotic, which is for the hunter, the Aphidius Spate. The purpose of this exotic is real simple, it just gives you dual throwing knives. So it works real well with mid-tree solar and playing with fire and that perk. What playing with fire does is whenever you kill enemies with your solar knives, it gives you faster recharge back on your knives. And since you have two of them, you can also use Gambler's Dodge. Whenever you dodge near enemies, it gives both of your throwing knives back. So you can keep spamming knives on a boss, keep doing your Gambler Dodge because one of the mid-tree solar perks is your dodge recharge rate is drastically increased whenever you damage targets with your knives. And don't forget, you can use Solar Plexus, which is the artifact seasonal perk you can put on your class item. So you can put that on your cloak and get 50% bonus damage. Moving on to the next exotic for the Titan. It's going to be an exotic that I've never really understood that much in PvE combat. It's Mask of the Quiet One. And what it does is it gives you ability recharge when you're damaged. And then when you're low on health, you can kill a target and actually heal yourself. The part that I've never really wrapped my head around that much is the ability recharge part when you're damaged because my grenade in this situation was supposed to come back in 41 seconds and I only had like one bump in recharge this entire segment that you're seeing right here and I'm taking a ton of damage. The healing property is alright but in PvE combat it's not one of my favorites. Now moving on to the final exotic for the Warlock, it's going to be School of Ahamakara, which used to be a total beast until it got nerfed. Used to, you could get your super back over and over in Gambit Prime. Every wave of adds, you just run in there, throw a super, and you get it right back. Same with the damage phase on the boss. You can Nova Bomb all the Taken adds that spawn before the boss, get your Nova back every time, and then just crush targets. It's a decent exotic, but I'd much rather use Nezarek Sin over it. So until you get Nez Sin, School of Ahamakara isn't going to be a bad choice. And then finally, like I was saying earlier, you can take the huge gamble with your shards and buy the Faded Engram. In this situation, I did get Nezarek Sin, but the statted roll on it was really garbage, so I ended up just deleting it anyways because I already had a better one. But anyways, hopefully you found this informative if you're trying to find Xur this week or just want to know what he sells or what the exotics are all about. But I just wanted to give a quick breakdown, introduce Xur to all the new players. And remember, every Friday and weekend, he's going to be in a different location. I'll keep you updated in the future on that, so if you want to hit subscribe for more content, I appreciate that. But you guardians, take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video next time. Space.